Hello my disco pimps and welcome back to Yakuza 0. In the last episode, we fought the crazy ass guy whose name I forgot, Mr. Knifey Knife Man. I, pff, I don't, fight was hard as hell. Anyways, uh, after that we just dicked around doing side content. We helped Aaron Kuhn, that was good. He finally got under the thumb of that girl and... I told you guys that I would do a couple of things in between episodes, which I have done, by the way. I actually opened... I opened four times in between episodes after collecting a plethora of women from the streets. That sounds wrong, but, uh, the, but you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyways, as you can see here, if I go to my cast on duty, hostess list like most of these hostesses are already level seven and higher which is good and i i've started i've started noticing that uh, more average to wealthy folks are actually starting to attend my cabaret club so that's good means we can get the golden bar filled faster and i think we have if we go to club status three thousand nine hundred fans that's almost 4,000 right there four thou god damn club mercury only has 4,000 oh, scrubs I'm gonna surpass you in two seconds bro club Mars at 1500 what a old what a uber scrub get out of here god damn it you too club Jupiter whatever anyways my roster has improved drastically, so have my cabaret club skills, so let's just, well, before we open, of course, we have to do some special training with Yuki. I decided to leave this for in between, for not in between episodes, I mean for actual episodes. Oh, so we're back to the normal way of training, cool. Alright, let's get another round of training in. Yuki-chan? Um, yo, Yuki-chan. Oh, excuse me. What's the matter? You were zoning out. I'm sorry. I'm meeting someone after work, and it, it's all I can think about right now. Oh, I see. I see our little Yuki-chan's gr all grown up. <laughs> yeah. What's that supposed to mean, Majima-san? Don't be creepy. Creepy? Come on. I was just... Bow, never mind, whatever. Roast me all you want. Well then, let's get this. Let's keep this session short, eh? I'd hate to interrupt your uh, busy schedule. Hi. Th thank you. That's very helpful. Let's start with the lesson. Right. Okay. All right. It's been a while since that first time I came in here and met you, eh, Yuki-chan? Indeed. That's because I'm dope like that. I'm that good. You've come a long way. You were number one. You've come a long way. Yeah, this place it has changed, but I think you've changed even more, Yuki-chan. Yeah, you've come a long way. You were pretty bad in the beginning. Yeah, you seem much more fluid and uh, prone to conversation than before, which is great, especially in this profession. You seem to be able to manage pretty well now. Maybe you can chuck that relationship self-help book. You seem to be doing just fine. <laughs> yeah, right. You used to have a tough time talking to men, now that you've gotten used to it in your work, but you're managing it a lot better in your free time, yeah? Nice. 
That is. That is huge improvement. That's great. But I guess I'll uh, have a soft spot for the old awkward Yuki-chan. Keep thinking about her appointment later on. I bet it's her boyfriend. Wonder what kind of guy he is. If he's a shithead, he's gonna get it from me. Hell yeah. Time for Daddy Majima to exert his parental powers. What should I tell her? I'm there for you. Break up with him! No, I'm there for you. Yuki-chan, just remember. If you ever need anything, you can count on me. I'll be there for you, girl. え? Hell yeah! No problem. I'll be there in a flash. Just page me. You know what, Yuki-chan? You've made so much progress, I think this can be a f our final chat. Aw, oh, damn! I mean, it's good, but damn, bruh. No more roast sessions from Yuki-chan. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll miss it too. So, how'd I do? What's it like to talk to a guy like me? Nice. Alright, so what'd you think of me now, eh? What does... What's that mean? Oh, come on. I'm on pins and needles here. Um. Hmm. What does Yuki chan think of me? Hmm. A sketchy one eyed bastard. The love of your life. A dependable boss? A sketchy one eyed bastard? <laughs> oh my god. I want to say it, but. Okay. Obviously, I'm a great boss. One you can look up to. Nice, nice. Does me good to hear it from you. Is her bar not gonna go up? God damn it! So, Yuki-chan, you mentioned having an appointment later on, right? How we doing on time? I don't want to pry, but this guy you're meeting, is he someone special to you? Right, but special how? Because, like, family members can be special. So that means... You're moving fast! Take care of him. Take good care of uh, him. Nothing? It's nothing. Ah, oh, damn. When you said that, kinda lost my cool. Caught me off guard, I guess. Hmm. Right then. Well, we better let you get going, eh? That ought to do it. Thank you for the lesson. Sure thing. Good job. So, let's see. Hey, that was a halfway decent lesson. You did pretty good, all things considered. Treat your customers like that and you'll pull through. 
I understand. I hope I'll be able to do it just as well when it's for real. I'd say you got the conversational skills under your belt now. Hi. Yes, thank you for all your advice. Uh, I'll get going then. Thank you for the lesson. Uh. Yeah, sure. Have fun tonight. All right then. See ya. So that was the last lesson, eh? Oh? Yuki-chan's got a boyfriend. Never saw that coming. Man, why am I feeling like a ton of bricks? Is this what the birds feel like when their chicks leave the nest? <laughs> okay, Majima. Oh, Majima-san. Is your lesson done already? Where'd Yuki-chan go? Yeah, I've been done. As for Yuki-chan, I think she's going on a date with her boyfriend. Eh? Huh? B -b boyfriend Yuki-chan? He has a boyfriend? That's what she said. Said something about uh, him being a very important man in her life. An important man in Yuki-chan's life? Uh. Yeah. Majima-san, don't you think there's something fishy about this? Huh? What you talking about, Yoda? After all, this is Yuki-chan we're talking about. Yuki-chan's a plain, flat-chested- <laughs> Yuki-chan's a, a plain, flat-chested wallflower who's never had a boyfriend in all these years she's been alive. She could barely chat with the customer until you arrived. Oh my god, Yoda-chan. Holy crap, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you think it's really possible that she found herself a boyfriend so suddenly? Hmm. You know, you're right. It does smell a little fishy. Then again, what's that say about you, Joda chan Why are you pulling plain, flat-chested wallflowers into the hostess business? <laughs> anyway, uh, do you think Yuki-chan is being conned? Conned? What? <laughs> yes. You hear the news about men taking advantage of lonely women and cleaning out their savings. Yuki-chan's naive enough to fall for it. I bet that's what's happening. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I can see it. That girl's gullible enough to fall for a little sweet talk. You're making me concerned here, man. Alright, only one thing for it. We gotta go after her and find out for ourselves. We can still catch her. Parental powers activate. Hi. Yes, let's go. Yuki-chan's virtue is in pearl. Not to mention her life savings. Yeah. I'll get an eyeball on this guy, and then I can decide if this boyfriend of hers is legit or not. Oh, hell yeah. Daddy Majima powers activate. I will say, though, it's a kind of a bit creepy, but come on, this is Yakuza we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Well, Yuki-chan sure seems to be in a good mood. Yeah, she does. Here's hoping her man does turn out to be just a regular old boyfriend. Hmm? Is someone there? Crap. Get down! Okay. All right. <laughs> Guess I'm hearing things. Whew, Yuki-chan's more self-aware than she looks. Indeed, that was a close one. Yuki-chan's been waiting for a while now though, huh? Oh, did she get stood up? Yes, it's already been 15 minutes. <clears throat> the odds of her being taken for a ride are increasing with every passing second if you ask me. Yeah. Hmm, someone's headed her way. Hey, Yuki, sorry I'm late. Oh no, it's okay. I just got here myself too. Oh, Yuki-chan, you've been waiting 15 minutes. What a sweetheart she is, indeed. Oh, what's with this guy? Kinda rocking the cradle a bit, ain't he? Why do I feel like that's her dad? Yeah, I bet he looks younger than he actually is too. I bet he's way older than Yuki-chan. And Yuki-chan was saying her ideal man would be a prince. Does this guy look like the type who rides in on a white horse to you? Love is blind, Majima-san. It clouds your judgment. 
Well, we should get going. They're on the move. Gotta tail him. Yoda-chan. Right. Oh. It's been a while since we've been able to sit down for a quiet meal together. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I think that's just your dad, man. Mm. Eh, they seem pretty familiar with each other. Mm. Yes, very true, but, uh, Majima-san... Do you think we're crossing any ethical boundaries here? Oh, plenty, but, uh, you know, Daddy Majima's on the case still. Hey, we just happened to enter the same restaurant as Yuki-chan and her mystery man. It's a free country, come on, man. What are you, stupid? I guess that's one way to put it. You caught me off guard when you came over the other night. You have to let me know before you just show up next time. Sorry, Yuki. I was so excited to see you, I just couldn't help but to come over. Oh, you? Oh, my. I don't want to picture anyone I know in that situation. Least of all our Yuki-chan. Yeah, well. Even worse when you figure out this old geezer is uh, laying his greasy mitts on our poor Yuki-chan. Yeah. yeah, but if he's really her boyfriend, it isn't a problem, right? We should be happy for her in this case. You got a point. As long as he's treating her right, that uh, would be the best thing for her. Uh oh, yes. Before I forget, here's this month's money. Uh-oh. What? Oh, nice. Thank you, Yuki-chan. I love you. Did money just change hands, or uh, do I have a good eye? Mm. It did, and you do. Maybe he's sick, right? Maybe he, she's helping to cover the old guy's medical bills? Well, he is old, but he doesn't look unhealthy. Mm. That's true. No, we're gonna keep observing. Yeah. No, no. Just because she's handed over cash doesn't mean she's being conned. That's true. I have so I have something important to tell you, Yuki-chan. I've met someone. I may even marry her. Eh? What? Well, I don't I don't know what to say. That's not something I expected you to drop on me out of the blue. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I think I'm thinking this is her dad. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious by this point. What's this all about? That guy's just straight up told her he's gonna marry another woman on the side. Right to her face. He must be using it as leverage to dump her. And... And... He'll make her pay even more money to keep him around, I bet. I think I've hit the nail on the head. What the hell? Poor Yuki-chan. No, it's, it's just gonna be her dad, bro. Well, we gotta remember, this is Yuki here. Could be a misunderstanding. Let's keep watching. Eh? Huh? Isn't it obvious she's being doped, uh, duped? You're giving Yuki-chan a little too much credit, Majima-san. Mm. Well, I admit, the news caught me off guard, but I'm happy for you. If you're in love, who am I to say no? Thank you, Yuki. What's wrong with you, Yuki-chan? How can you be so forgiven? That's why I came to Osaka, honestly. I had to tell you. It was important enough to tell you in person. You haven't changed one bit, Dad. Yeah, see, I knew it. I could see the future. Dad? Huh? What? Majima-san and Yoda-chan? What are you two doing here? Oh, uh, yeah. About that. Uh, paternal instincts? We were worried? <laughs> Me, a con man, trying to dupe Yuki. <laughs> That's a classic. I'm making Yuki's father sound younger than he looks. I don't find this amusing at all. I'm speechless. So, uh, you're really Yuki-chan's dad, are you? Yes, yes. Guilty as charged. Seems Yuki-chan continues to be quite a handful. She hasn't changed a bit. All right, then. What's up with the money? Why are you forking, forking cash over to your dad, Yuki-chan? You saw that, too? My dad loaned me money so I could move to Osaka, and I'm paying him back little by little every month. That's all. 
than that talk about your dad finding another lady. <laughs> yeah, I met a woman. I hope to marry my wife. Yuki's mother passed away years ago. Never expected an autumn romance, but life is a strange thing sometimes. <sighs> so that's the whole story, eh? You being Yuki-chan's dad was the furthest thing from my mind. R was it? Majima, I think you're just too attached to Yuki. You have too much daddy potential. <sighs> We're terribly sorry for leaping to conclusions. We even went so far as to condemn you as a swindler. No, no, it's fine. It's uh, rather reassuring to know you care so much about Yuki that you're watching over her. To be honest, I had my doubts that Yuki was cut out for her hostess work. Dad. Timid, awkward, introverted, and shy. That's the daughter I know and love. I wasn't sure how in the world she'd survive as a hostess. But seeing her here in Osaka, the first thing I noticed was how much this city has changed her. Change how? Well, maybe it's just a father's bias talking, but I think she's more cheerful and more composed now. Radiant, even. I'm sure it has to do with her enjoying her work at the club you gentlemen run. Dad. So, you're Majima-san. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Yuki goes on and on about you. I was hoping I could meet you in person to see how much of that I could actually believe. D Dad. Oops, sorry, sorry. Hmm? All joking aside, Majima-san. And Jota-san, was it? I hope I can count on you to keep watch over my daughter. Yeah, of course. We gotta groom Yuki-chan into the best hostess she can be. Eh. Absolutely. I'll do my best to make Yuki-chan the top-notch hostess in Sonenbori and all Japan. Right, Majima-san? Yeah. We'll make it happen, Yoda-chan. How very heartening. Huh? Hold your horses. I wanted to get an office job eventually. Let's do this. Yeah! Yeah! Let's make Yuki the best at something she doesn't want to do. Yeah! <laughs> Guys, hello! I'm still here! Come on! Yeah! Woo! Daddy instincts activate! Best hostess is so damn boring. Woo! Yeah, baby! Well, there you go. I guess that's all for Yuki. Cool. Alright, now that that's done. Now that that is done. We can do the rival battle. We're gonna kick that guy's ass. Gonna kick Club Mars's ass. Hell yeah. We ready for this shit. Hello, Club Sunshine, my favorite little aunt farm. You all seem to be scuttling about as mindlessly as ever. Club Mars, you know, right? You're the one who dragged your ass to the nest. Wanna take a swing and see what happens? <laughs> Don't get cocky, little roach. I could crush this club under my foot at any time I feel like it. I seriously doubt it, seeing as how we have almost four times as many fans as you do. Looking forward to you giving that a try. We'll see who gets crushed. You insects sure do dream big these days. No grip on reality. Oi. Answer me this, Goro Majima. What is the most powerful thing in the world? Let me guess. You're gonna say money, right? Huh? It's money. How did I know that? See? Little gremlin. You're a winner if you have money. And if you don't, you're a loser. And me, I have money. Lots of it. Not gonna lie, man, you're starting to sound like uh, Byakuya Togami from Danganronpa. Expensive liquor, great food, hot woman. If you want to have money, you can have anything. If you want more customers, I can even pay for them. Well then, that would basically be cheating, right? Paying for your customers? That's a bit of bullcrap right there, if I do say so myself. But you do you. You know, I was gonna say that you are also reminding me of Nanjo from Persona 1, but uh, that would be an insult to Nanjo because he's not a punk ass like you. 
How do you think a piss poor cabaret club like you is going to win against what's in my wallet? Well, we got Daddy Majima, Mr. Eyepatch Manager, Soden Bori Lord of the Night, as the manager, so we're definitely gonna beat you. Beats me. Won't know until we try, but you know. Running a club takes more than cash you put it in. Than the cash you put in it, goddammit. You continue to annoy me, you fly. But you know what? I'm gonna really enjoy watching you worms squirm around on the ground begging not to die. <laughs> Alright, let's do this then. Club Sunshine, we're open for business, baby. Yeah! Oh, oh! Oh, hell! Thumbnail material right there, boys and girls! Hell yeah! Already, already an average customer in our club. Damn, so many people in such a short instance. See, this is what happened when you have actual fans for your club. Not a bad balance. Too average, too poor. Three average, too poor. Yeah, we're definitely gonna kick your ass, bro. Guess glass. You see how much money Cycle's making over here? Already? Holy crap! This is awesome. This is the culmination of my o last four openings, guys. Much more fans. Much more wealthy fans. More money to be had. Extend session? Nope. Well, thank you. Grazie, senor. What's up? Guest class. Look at his bitch ass all the way back at the beginning of the gold bar. Refill ice. Oh. Towel. Special cutscene with Yuki-chan. Come on, baby. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Special cutscene. All the time, baby. Thumbs up. What's up? Swap ashtray. We're almost at fever time, and I th we've got a full house. So this is good. Come on. Sunshine fever, baby. Wow. What club's beating who now? She know. Get the hell out of here with your with your scrub ass. You're nothing to me, bro. Nothing. You see this? This is called excellence right here. Excellent service. God damn it. Excellent service. With Mr. Eyepatch Manager. Gracious send-off. See, Yuki-chan made 1.2 million yen. What you got? Little bitch boy. Out of here with your, out of here with your pudgy ass. Aw, oh, damn it. Sorry, sir, we don't have anybody that you like. Uh, gracious send-off. Like we've already we've already reached reached the end of the thingy mabob. 
the end of the golden bar and he's not even halfway there. Maybe I've kind of overdone it with the club management aspect in between episodes. Gracious send off. All the girls are making around the ballpark of a million. You don't like anybody? Jesus. Dude. Picky customer. Call for help so he can improve his mood at least. Then session? Nope. Thank you anyway, sir. Do you like Yugi-chan? Yes, you do. Perfect. Menu. Perfect. Everything's going so good. And Hino hasn't even filled up his thing yet. Like, I've already been filled for like the past one and a half minutes, bro. Oh, you wanna, you wanna play? I'll play with you, bro. I'll play with you. I'll play with you. Extend session? Nope. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Nice. I like how he's now just catching up in the last half minute. Gracious send off. Uh, menu. menu. You can do as many money rushes as you want. It's not gonna help you. I've already kicked your ass. You've already been defeated in the first minute, bro. Uh, swap ashtray. Like, I can literally do this. And that's it. Like, even though I'm already far ahead of you, like... I'm... I've wiped... I've mopped the floor with your corpse already, Hino, bro. Ain't no way you beat me. Yep, 20 guests. I've made 18 million, and I've profited twice as much as you have. You see that? I've taken over. What you gonna do about that, boy? Oh, yes. Yes. Get wrecked. Get utterly wrecked, bro. What you think? <laughs> we did it! We won! We beat Club Mars! <laughs> this can't be happening! You guys are flies! Dung beetles! I don't lose to mere insects! <laughs> be a good sport, he now. You got... Stung! Badum psh! There's no way this is my fault! Something else must have caused this! Oi! You're supposed to be my number one hostess! What the hell were you doing? You're worthless. What a dick. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's about time I fired you, sorry ass. I'll use your pay to recruit girls twice as good as you. What an asshole. That'll guarantee my win next time. Since she threw the fight, this battle doesn't count. <laughs> Fucking sore loser. Ooh, what's this? You're pathetic, he know. Whoa. Nani? <laughs> you guys. Huh? Who the hell are you? Majima-san, it's a pleasure to meet you. 
I'm Sukiyama, the founder of the Five Stars. So, you're the big bad boss, huh? A, ra a rather trite description, but yes, that would be me, and here we have... I'm Kazuka from Club Jupiter. Mess with the five stars and you'll be in a world of pain. Oh my, so ominous. I'm Mizumura from Club Mercury. Go easy on me, eh? I'm Kanehara from Club Venus. You wouldn't forget a face this fabulous, would you? So, the five of you call yourselves the five stars. Nice to put some faces to the names. <laughs> In any event, it was a remarkable contest. Your reputation as a manager of the Grand is well earned, I see. In terms of financial and operational resources, Sunshine is vastly inferior to Club Mars. Nevertheless, you still managed to win in spite of your handicaps. <laughs> we know. When all's said and done, maybe you five stars aren't such a big deal after all. Mm. You'll pay for that. <laughs> How presumptuous. If the five stars were five digits on a hand, Hino would only be the pinky finger. Damn. Get called out, bro. In fact, it's embarrassing to even call him our peer. If winning against this burnout brings you such satisfaction, it speaks to how weak you truly are. Nani? How can you say that, Tsukiyama-san, after everything I've done for you? All you've done is drag the name of the five stars through the mud. I have no further need of you. Whoa, let's not be hasty. Give me one more chance. I'll do anything. Thank you for your service. Now, goodbye. No, no, I don't want to die. What? <laughs> what? Yo, hey. What? You gonna kill him? That's your cue. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Well now, aren't you happy, Majima-san? You have one less rival. Are you really gonna murder him? It is rather a shame that the five stars are in fact down to four, thanks to Hino's buffoonery. Katomi, would you like to join our ranks? A gracious offer, Sukiyama-san, but I feel I am better suited to the task required of your personal assistant. <sighs> I see. What a shame. Majima-san, what about you? Would you like to join the five stars? It seems there's a vacancy and uh, you would certainly qualify. Sure, only uh, to get kicked to the curve the moment I disagree. You couldn't make me join you for a truck full of cash, bro. Yeah, kick his ass now, Majima. I see. That's uh, most unfortunate. In that case, farewell for now. I look forward to Club Sunshine's continued progress. Oh, but do be careful. If you do anything to truly anger the five stars, there's no telling what might happen to you. If you do anything to anger me, then there's no telling how many times you will get curve stomped. So back the fuck off. Tsukuyama of the five stars, huh? And Kazuka, Mizumura, and Kanehara. Looks like things are gonna get a little busy. Yeah. I never would have thought all of the five stars would show up at our club of all places. They make one hell of a happy bunch. Yeah, they do. Very unique individuals, if I may say so. And that assistant, she's kind of creepy, right? I mean, she's pretty, but still. <laughs> well, I'm just glad that we won. This will be fantastic for our reputation. Yeah, at least we're still in business. We're gonna have some tough battles ahead, but uh, we'll get through them long as we stick together. Like a team. Yes. Yes. Um, excuse me? Oh, hey. You're what's-her-name from Club Mars. What's the matter? Would it be asking too much to work at your club? Oh, hell yes. Welcome aboard. Eh? Huh? You mean Club Sunshine? The number one girl from Club Mars wants to work here? <laughs> yes. You know, Sun is gone now, and I don't think Club Mars will open for business for a long time. I guess he did just up and take off. All things considered, 
I doubt he'll ever come back. Besides, I really want to work here. Why is that? Because it seems like so much fun here. Fun? You mentioned that before, didn't you? That's right. That's what I thought the other day when you saved me, Majima-san. I knew it must be a great place to work from the fun atmosphere you guys create. Really? I doubt we're all that different from any other club out there. Well, I mean, obviously you are, because Hino was a piece of shit and he was one of the five clubs around this place. Not true. Club Sunshine is really friendly and cheerful, and now there's no place I'd rather be. Please, let me join you as a part of your team. Hmm. If you want to be here that bad, you might want to get your head checked, but uh, it's all good. It's all good, man. Welcome aboard. I'm looking forward to seeing you in action, Ai-chan. Hell yeah! Yes, finally, a cute girl who's not so quiet and plain. Bro, she's right there. What do you mean by that, Geoda-san? Yeah, the five stars don't stand a chance against a cutie like Ai-chan. <laughs> Say goodbye to quiet and plain around here. You too, Majima-san. You guys are so mean. You brought this on yourself. You've I've endured four of your roasting sessions. Come on. Out of, out of this. Out of this house. See? This really is fun. I'm looking forward to working with you. Oh, she's a platinum hostess. Yay. All right. Got a new member on the team. Let's make a fresh start of it and figure out how to work better together. Yeah! Fighting style unlocked. Blocks have been unlocked for the thug style. New items have been opened on the ability screen. Additional upgrades are now available. Oh, shit! You unlock new shit by proceeding with the club minigame. Well, this is good. This gives me more of an incentive to actually do this crap. Other than the actual fun aspect. <laughs> we defeated Club Mars, but there are four more left in the five stars. Club Moon is our top club, so we should save that one for last and focus on the other three first. Southern Bori Cabaret Club Czar, you can now take on Club Jupiter, Club Mercury, and Club Venus. Progress through the story and the Cabaret Club battles by increasing the number of fans in each area. Gain more fans in each area by running your club and partnering up with businesses. Congratulations on defeating Club Mars. You got a bonus of 300 million yen. Hell yeah, bro. Shit. That's a lot of dough. What's this? Hmm. What's going on, Ai-chan? Looking around the club kind of funny. Oh, Majima-san. Have you ever thought about some upgrades to the interior here? Upgrades. Yeah, we used to do that a lot at my old club. We changed the interior of the club once in a while. It really helps keep it fresh and it's fun. Hmm, gotcha. You know, that sounds pretty slick, but how would we go about doing this? No worries. I can get a hold of guys who did the work for my old club. I think they'd be happy to help us. Yeah. Hey, that sounds great. Guess I'll give you a shout if I feel like changing things up, Ai-chan. Yep. I bet if they do it, I bet they'll even do it for free. They get used to doing it for free whenever I ask them to for some reason. Oh, hell, I know why they do it. Nai-chan, that's some black magic. Interior chocolate is now available. You can now upgrade the interior of a club sunshine. Talk to I in the club when you want to upgrade. You can use completion points you earn from the completion list to uh, obtain additional interior types. Chocolate? Hey! You're da- Yes! Yes! You dance, girl. You dance. Look at Yuki over there being all plain. Yeah, girl. Yeah! Majima, start break dancing. Do it! Do it! God damn it. Alright, whatever. Talk. Oh, Majima-san. What can I do for you? Upgrade the interior. What kind of look do you want? Chocolate. Okay, got it. Ooh. I guess the colors changed. That doesn't look my, much different, though. Wow, this place feels completely different. Just let me know if you want to change it again. Oh my god. 
I would like to dance. Oh my god. Fantastic. The dance floor is actually being used. Not by that not by that plain girl over there, but by this wonderful wonderful girl right here. All right, let's let's move. Let us move. Let us save. Have I been How long has it been? Feels long. Feels long, man. All right, um here. I want to go outside real quick. See if there's anyone that can be outside to join my club. Although I haven't met much women in the side quests. Because I know that for Kiryu, every time I did a side quest, some people would pop up on the exterior after some time has passed. So that we can actually hire them for our uh, real estate firm. I'm wondering, oh, what was that? Oh, pager. 65810 and two, oh, dragon and tiger. Okay. So, huh. Doesn't look like it. Whatever. Um. Mm, who is this? Let's go to, let's go to there. I want to see what's up. Oh, hey. Oh, you're. You're the girl who was using Aaron Coon. How dare you? How dare you waltz upon my sight, woman? What do you have to say? Huh? Hey, you. I got in a lot of trouble thanks to you. Who the hell are you? You showed up with Aaron Coon, and thanks to you, I got dumped by Tomo Coon. Oh, you're the one who sent Aaron Coon on all those errands. I don't know why you're angry. It's all your fault. Yeah. Huh? Shut up. Thanks to you, I'm... I'm all... Wah. Hey, hey, stop crying, will ya? Why would you care so much about a low-life ex-boyfriend like him? Your personality ain't much to speak of, but uh, you got a pretty enough face, maybe. Anyways, you should be able to find a new guy at least as good as your ex. Huh? What's that supposed to be? Some kind of pep talk? You're not exactly making me feel better. I ain't trying to make you feel better. Honey chicken cherry bunch. Ah, you're really pissing me off. Oh, that reminds me. I have some business with you. Huh? Business? <laughs> I hear you're running a cabaret club, right? Listen, you can hire me to make, uh, make it up to me for screwing up my life. Well, since you word it like that, fucking no. Make it up to you? You know, even I got limits to my patience. I don't care about your stupid patience. Look, since I ha no longer have Aaron Kuhn, I have to buy the stuff I want myself. My savings got cleaned out like a discount vinegar. And now I'm in a real bind because I'm short on money this month. Let me work at your club to make my rent. Alright, fine. I guess uh, since you put it like that, and you actually want to make your own money and take responsibility for your crap that you need to buy, then I'm a bit more prone to considering it. I don't know if you could even make money at a club, but I'll teach you a valuable lesson in hard work at least. Alright, fine. I'll hire you. <laughs> really? That's great. I'm Emmy. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Emmy? With a face like that? Hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna remember your name. Nah, I got it. Since you bossed Aaron Coon around so much, your name at the club is now Aranda. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Aranda. Huh? What? What do you mean, Aranda? That's super lame. Well, you gave Aaron Coon his name. It's, uh... It's goddamn payback. <laughs> it's a better name than you deserve. You got a problem with it? You can always quit. Yeah, fine. I'll take your stupid name, but you just remember, Karma's gonna be a real bitch. Uh. To you. Great. Looking forward to meeting her. Whatever. At least I got one more silver hostess. Where am I going? Oh. Wait, hold on. We got 300 million yen. We should probably upgrade our abilities a bit more. Let's see. 
Ooh, everything is unlocked. Bro. Alright, heat wave. Power surge 2. What is this? Yellow snake venom. The heat gauge will rise when you skillfully evade enemy attacks while in a calm state. Heat retention damage. Heat retention time. Uh, white snake venom. The heat gauge will rise when you adjust your hold on an enemy. Maybe later. Uh, let's boost the health. And let's boost it again. Essence of a Thug, Subdue. Straddle and attack a fallen enemy. This combo can only be performed by wounded fighters. Okay. Improved Quick Step. Boost the evasiveness of Quick Step. And improve Quick Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I want to get that, but I'm, I want to see the other crap first. Uh, rising Kick. Immediately recover and perform an attack after being knocked to the ground. Triangle immediately after being knocked down. That I can do. Reverse Shin Strike. Turn and kick an enemy's shin, in many cases causing them to drop to the ground in pain. Hold for a movement... Hold a movement direction away from uh, Majima's facing, and then triangle. Okay. Combo boost. Boost the loop combo amount for rush combos. These. Now these can be truly useful. Uh, Essence of Thug Pursuit. Secret of the Night Lord. Cruel. Embodies the Lord of the Night's callous nature. Greatly boosts the power of Majima's first attack on enemies who can't see him or are stunned. Holy crap, that sounds amazing. Alright, Thug Mastery Insight. See which enemies have guns or knives concealed. Meh. Thug Mastery. Boost the power of Essence of Thug. Choke out. Okay. So most of these are boosts. Cool. Heat retention. Let me take a look at the other ones. Slugger style. Still fairly locked. Extra bat on Chaku swings. Boost the hit count of uh, Batten on Chaku swings. Mm, that's okay, but I'm not gonna get it. Weapon boost. Boost the power of the weapon attacks when using the slugger style. Now that sounds good. But by weapon attacks, does it mean my normal bat? Or does it mean like actual weapons? Can I take out a katana in slugger style or no? Quick step blow. Deliver a blow to an enemy after performing a quick step. Extant triangle. I need to get that. Because that would be useful as hell. Uh, heat retention. Essence of slugger. Triangle after a break guard on an enemy. Third heat bar. Azure dragon spirit bolsters your defense when in heat mode. Well, that's pretty much everything I can get. What about for breaker style? Uh, heat retention damage. Pose so freeze. Uh, heat retention, disruption immunity, maybe later. Boost health, XXL, that might be good. Tornado throw, utilize torque to fling a weapon lying near your feet, and you'll need a good eye for one-handed weapons. Attack boost small, boost your attack power slightly. Well, the attack, boost your attack power slightly. Break your balance. Keep your hell, head held high by using all you've learned to avoid being knocked down. Break a renewal. Recover from certain doom by evading an enemy attack, causing your health to recover. Holy shit, that sounds dope. But that is locked behind a thingy. Breaker. Golden Gumball. Demonstrate your eagerness to please by performing a spinning attack when business is good. This causes the heat gauge to rise faster. Dope. Perform a uh, spin kicking attack after the money flies in the air. Essence of Coiling Strike. Okay, everything sounds cool. So for this style, we're just we're just gonna go with Boost Health XXL right now because it's not all that good for Breaker style at the moment. And then we'll do extra Batten on Chaku swings. Might as well, because we use a lot of slugger style. And for thug style, I'm thinking about... 
Improved quick step. All right, that's good. That is good for now. Now I can kick you guys' asses for being dumbasses or dickwads. All right, let's check out the improved quick step. Oh, that's for, is that for? I think that's for brawler style, right? Oh yes, it is for brawler style. Here, let me switch to slugger. Oh, damn. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Majima, stop hitting imaginary walls, bro. Get wrecked, bro. Alright, cool. I'm awesome like that. Alright, where am I? I was gonna go here. Julio Shmulio, out of my way. Out of my way. Alright. So, who's here? Oh, it's the shoulder bag phone dude. Hey, Majima, Majima san, what took you? Huh? That bag. My mom bought me a new one. It's my new bag phone. Whoa, then that means your patience will finally be rewarded. The future is here, and with bag phones, pay phones will fade into obscurity. M Majima san, you said you wanted to give the future a shot, right? The time has finally come. Just dial the number of the person you wanted to talk to. Um, yeah. Wait, but if that other person doesn't have a bag phone... What's wrong? I forgot who I wanted to call. <laughs> what? Majima-san, are you feeling alright? You're not going faint- you're not gonna faint on me, are you? There's nothing wrong with me. After all that screwing around, how am I supposed to remember? I guess that's kind of my bad, isn't it? I'll be here. If you ever need the phone of the future, happy to let you use it anytime you want. Assuming it uh, has a charge, that is. Yeah. Will do. But man, gotta say, this new technology stuff sure is fragile. That's the way things always start, isn't it? But this is only the beginning. I bet one day phones will be so light and convenient, everyone will be carrying one. Maybe they'll even be more than, uh, maybe they'll even do more than let people talk too. Wouldn't it be cool if your phone could take pictures? You're kidding, right? They put a camera on that thing, make your damn back to carry it, not to mention the film. If that's the price of progress, then I'll pay it gladly. Besides, I can always turn to you for help. <sighs> Give me a break. I'm done with these fads. Okay. Short and sweet, I guess. Short. Oh, it's a saving station. Okay, alright, let's save. Save it, Sue, then. Save it, Sue. Cool. And. Is there anything here? Uh. What's this? Okay, so I'll go to this corner and then I'll go to this. I want to see if we can go somewhere else with the cab. Oh, there's Club Mercury. That's a good entrance. Out of my way. darn two and way. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh. Who are you? Ah, hold up a sec, will ya? Jaunty guy. Hmm. Ain't you the guy Majima who runs the Grand? Huh? Yeah, that's me. Thought so. How's it going? Making man moolah? I do all right for myself. How about you? Uh, you're really gonna ask that? You're the one who brought it up, smart guy. To tell you the truth, got serious money problems, bro. Yeah? Well, 
The bank of Majima's closed, sorry. No, no, the trouble is, got more cash than I can use. Well then, the bank of Majima is open. Say what? Damn. You earn all that from tips? You some kind of guitar maestro, bro? Oh, this money's all mine. Hand it out to the people that listen to me play. Are you for real right now? Yeah. Well, what, am I, what else am I gonna do? No matter how much I spend, can't get rid of it. I took it to a bank, but they said they ain't got enough room in the vault. Figured people take off, take it off my hands if I played them a song or two. Why don't you just hand it out? Why not just skip the tunes and just give it out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. See why they call you the Lord of the Night. <sighs> What's that got to do with anything? And you really that rich? Feels more like you're yanking my chain, bro. Oh. Is my wealth that obvious? I try not to flaunt it too much, but uh, when you're king, you got the aura of bling. <laughs> Ain't no way to hide the high baller vibe. Yeah. Um, head to break it to you, but you look more like a cross between a lounge sister and uh, a, a lounge sister. <laughs> a lounge singer and a used car salesman. Huh? Seriously. The sleaze is just oozing right off of you. What? Well, nothing like the type who shows up at my club and throws money around, that's for sure. Oh, oh yeah. Thought you might say that. What? So you're admitting it. It's been stressing me out, man. I really am rolling in dough, but uh, for whatever reason, people think I look like a human embodiment of a gutter. Did you try to sell a a tell a sob story? Because it ain't working. What I'm trying to do is find a way to show my wealth. That's when I heard the rumors about you, Majima-san. Sonin Boy is Lord of the Night. Oh, I just noticed this is Mr. Moneybag. I'm stupid. It's right in my face. First time I saw you on the street, guys and girls were falling over themselves left and right to get in your good graces. <laughs> yeah, I don't exactly like all that attention. But, you don't seem rich at all, Majima-san. Huh? Sure, you look flashy on the outside, but it feels like an act to me. I can see the uh, veneer peeling off. Oh, hope I'm not offending you or anything. <laughs> huh, guess you got some savvy after all. <laughs> what? Yeah. Never mind. Tell me, why you go snooping on me on the street if you think I'm faking it? Yeah, about Aww. that. I was thinking maybe you and I could be friends. What? I want you to show me how to act rich. And what makes you think I'd do that? What's in it for me? Mm. For you? Yeah. yeah. You may have money coming out of your year, but I gotta work to get paid, and time is money. Don't know what to say to that. Let me ask you then. What's the difference if you look rich or not? It's a huge difference. When you look rich, you can hit on girls without them screaming and running away. They might even actually listen for a change. Damn, bro. Who knows? Maybe ladies will start trying to talk me into marrying them. I could build up a whole harem. That is an honorable goal, sir. Huh? So you're just another horned dog chasing tail after all. Pretty damn pathetic. No, Majima. Bro. Harem building. Is honorable as hell. How the hell did uh, you get rich in the first place, bro? I don't understand this world sometimes. <laughs> when it comes to money, I got all the luck just seems to fall right into my lap. Just like how girls fall into the laps of popular guys, I guess. Okay, now you're just being a creeper. Aw, man. How about this, then? If you want me to earn some green, I'll be your pal. What? That ain't how it works. Friendship ought to be something you give away for free. Not in this case. Sorry, man. Tell me how to make money. Oh, now you're gonna take the moral high ground? If you're that rich, you may as well have a few buy a few a few friends, goddammit. Huh. So friendship can be bought. Hmm. Alright. I'll buy you, Majma son. How much? What'll it take for you to hang out with me? You sleaze. Your sleaze is making my skin crawl. If you got packets that deep, just come to my club as a customer, bro. Your club? Uh 
If that ain't gonna fly, forget it. No cash. I walk. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. It ain't that I don't want to go. It just seems I'd have a hard time spending much cash at a cabaret. You really think so? The Grand ain't some pop-up dive bar, pal. Those girls have you paying through the nose. Oh, don't worry. I got the money, bro. You got gotta say, I like the th uh, thing with the money shower before. Might give it a try myself one of these days. Okay, so we get cash confetti. I know, how about you invest in our fun? And you'll be making money hand over fist. Uh, fund? What's that? An investment fund. Me and the other wealthy people around the country share info and take contributions from investors. We got the smarts to make the money work for us, so you sure it's gonna pay uh, the dividends? Well, ain't you Mr. Freaking Fancy Pants? Change the subject in your whole new man. Yeah, did it again, didn't I? My bad. Any money related, and I anything money related, and I run my mouth. Use fat cats like that. Those fat cats are like that. God damn it. Still, ain't gonna make any profit with loose change, right? Had to invest big. Yeah, of course. Anyways, I talked enough for one day. Let's go over this some other time. Yeah, sure. You can usually find me around here. Come and see me again if you're interested. Hero of the story. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. You know what? Let's talk to him. Hey, Majima san. Wanna hear more about the investment fund? It can take a while though. Oh my god. It's gonna take a while? <clears throat> Hold on, let me take a drink of water. I wanna learn how to make more money, bro. <clears throat> Alright, gotta prepare my throat for this. No homo. No homo. Alright, sure. Sure, I'll hear you out. Alright, it's gonna take some time, so bear with me. If you'll get bored, feel free to start spacing out. Ain't gonna matter much either way. Just say so. First, the investment fund takes contributions from the clients with money burning a hole in their pockets. Then, we take all that cash and invest it in the business we think shows promise. Share that profit goes back to the investors. Basically, the people who borrow from us do all the work and we just move all the money around so you're loan sharks then mm. not exactly loan sharks make the pickings off of interest we profit by investing it in all sorts of things listed stocks startups and even movie productions are resources if it gets us returns we'll invest in it call that an investment sounds more like gambling to me <laughs> maybe so but uh we only make bets we win we don't make money when an, an, an investment goes bad so we do our homework if it ain't gonna pay off, we don't put the cash in. You can rest assured your money's safe. Sounds too good to be true. We keep looking until we find a sure thing. You'd fit the bill, Majima-san. Me? Of course. You run the top cabaret in Sword and Bori, and I hear you're setting up your own cabaret club now, too. Got your ear to the ground, all right. Didn't think uh, word will be out just yet. <laughs> money talks, as they say. And our money does a lot of chatting. What a little beat then, Majima-san? Huh? What do you mean? Wanna contribute to the fund? Or uh, would you take some of the fund's money? It's your choice. Huh? Get why you want me to put up the cash, but uh, you're saying you'd invest in my business too? Yeah. Of course. But it ain't like it's our money would be would be handing out. It's from our investors. Who would that be? Well, we actually use a system called Mutual Investment Trust. The hell's that? Mm. Basically, we pair up clients, so whenever you contribute or withdraw, it always comes from <clears throat> it's always coming from or going to the same person. Say you contributed to our fund, and we invested that money into a business to, of a certain Kason who runs a real estate gig in Camarocho. Oh hell, it's Kiryu. God hell yes. Good references. Yes. 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 If Kason's business go well, a certain percentage of the profits comes back to the fund. Sounds normal to me. After that, it's where it gets tricky. When Kason contributes to the fund, your business has priority when that money gets invested. Kason made that money thanks to our contribution, so it's only fair you get first dibs on it. So the money I put in goes to this real estate guy in Camarojo, huh? That's right. 
And when that certain someone in Camarocho invests some cash, it comes to you here in Sodenbori. Of course, we take our cut first, so it ain't the full amount. If the investment pans out though, you're sure to make a killing. The investment fund. By contributing to the investment fund, you can transfer money between the two protagonists, Kiryu and, Kaz and Majima. Hell yeah, bro. However, the commission you pay reduces the total amount invested by a certain percentage. When you're short of money for your business, transferring money from the other protagonists can help. That about sums it up. Okay, I think I get the picture. Alright, as a sign of good faith, here's a little cash injection from the fund. Got 10 million yen. I guess this is better than nothing. Whoa, hold up. It's a lot of dough. Well, first you gotta get your business up and running. Use that money as a kickstart, and once you're flush, invest it back with us. If you, got, if you just go wasting it, it won't last long. That'll be the end. Be sure to put it towards things that'll make you more money. Then you can play around once you get the extra. And that's the key to getting rich. Huh, all right. Can't say no to that. Okay, so getting back to things. Welcome to the investment fund. Will it be today? Hmm. Invest money. I want to put in some money. Your contribution to Kaysan and Camarocho? Okay, that'll be 10 million yen. What? Don't I get to choose how much I put in? Let's just say this cuts down the, on the paperwork. Anything smaller than this ain't gonna worth the hassle and won't make much of a difference. Better to set the bar high and get a decent amount of cash flowing through the system to reap big, uh, bigger rewards. But what are the but the ups to risk too? Besides, having to front up that kind of cash makes it reek of a scam. Oh, come on. Do I look like the kind of guy who just skipped town after ranking your, taking your money? I'm a quadrillionaire. Yeah, and like I said, you look like a flashy used car salesman. Ain't always much difference between a rich guy and a scammer, you know? You gotta be careful who you deal with. Hmm, you're right. Never make a fortune trusting people that easily. There's too many sharks out there who'll do anything for a buck. Yep, it's a tough world. But I'd sooner live a life a beggar than stop trusting people, I'll tell you that now. Didn't take you for the mir uh, miserly type, Majima-san. My bad. I'll be sure to not bother you again. Okay, okay, fine. You can stop with the guilt trip. The amount's fine, jeez. Excellent. Now, where was I? So this time, your contribution is 10 million yen. You wish to invest? Yeah, sure. You invested 10 million yen. Okay, now we're talking. I'll deduct or 15% uh, commission and send the rest to Kaysan. Let's see how he does with it. Guess we better hope this real estate guy in Kamurocho knows what he's doing. It'll be fine. Once he's made a tiny profit, the money comes back. You can use that to build an even bigger pile of cash and make another contribution. Hope it's as easy as they make it sound. Anyways, I'll drop the fee to 10% next time. Come and see me again when you got the money to spare. Okay. See ya. Leave me alone. I only wish to side quest in peace. Oh. Hey, same guy's back. There's that wonderful smell again. Come to think of it, I didn't actually get anything to eat the last time. Now's my chance. Are you serious? God damn obertarian. Hey, excuse me. <sighs> oh, the obertarian strikes again. Well, hello there, eye patch fella. You got the quig up. I'm the end of the line. Get real. I ain't letting you pull the same stunt again. What? You're gonna cop another feel? I don't come cheap. Yeah, right. They couldn't pay me enough. I hate having to re repeat myself, but uh, cutting in line is bad form. Get behind me. Oh. Obitarian friend. Ooh, hello, Etsuko san. How's it going? Oh, Mikucho kan. Mi Michiko san, isn't this a place so tasty? Oh. Hey. What do you think you're doing? Reason with them calmly. <sighs> If I lay hands on her, she'll start shouting the P-word again. Look, it's clear as day this time, your cut line. Now get behind me and wait your turn like a normal person. Huh? So unreasonable. I haven't seen my friend here in ages. 
Maybe you ought to get the uh, stick up your ass checked out, Sonny. Now listen here, mister. Why don't you quit being so damn selfish? Ooh, Skeddy. What seems to be the problem here, ladies? You gotta help us, officer. This scary fella has been a real terror to us poor defenseless old ladies. <clears throat> yeah, we were chatting with each other when he started shouting obscenities. Oh my god. Huh? What? You two windbags cut in line. Now, now. Why don't you have some candy and calm down a bit? It's as sweet as it comes. You got candy. What the hell? You think this makes it all better? What am I, five? Eek, officer, help! Damn it, fine, screw this. <sighs> He's just a common dog. How'd I end up getting painted as the bad guy? This Obertarian is one cunning adversary. Can I send a hitman after her? Honestly, at this point, God damn. Ah, <sighs> whatever. The girl's back. Which one is it now? Ah. Daddy? You scared me. <laughs> you really got an eye out for these dolls, don't you? It's just, the pink poochan looks pretty, uh, really pretty. Pretty or not, uh, didn't I tell you how dangerous this area can get? You're not looking for trouble, are you? No, I'm sorry. There we go again. A pink Buchan, huh? Let's see if I can get her one. Don't I already have one? Nice. There you go. A bouncy low Buchan. You handed over the Buchan to Java. Yeah! Wow, a real pink Buchan, thank you so much. Say, how come you like dolls so much? Oh, I'm just all alone when I'm home. Having my squirrels around feels like I have friends over. That's why the dolls are the best. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And now Buchan gets to join the family. Thanks for everything, Daddy. I'm gonna take such good care of him. Yeah, yeah. Now off you go, back to your mom. Okay, bye-bye. Maybe now the tea party's complete. No reason for her to hang around here anymore, I hope. Well, the friendship bar says otherwise, Majima-san. The friendship bar says otherwise. Alright, Dragon and Tiger, it's been a long time since we've been here. And I sent some equipment to be searched for. Quality screw, driftwood, ashwood. Ow. Can I craft some equipment? Iron pipe. Okay, whatever. This crafting minigame and searching minigame is not that interesting, to be honest. Have you been working on your bat techniques, Majima-san? I can teach you about the following weapons. Poles, Kaki Stinks, chan uh, Tanfa, Nunchaku. Sure, Nunchaku. You wish to learn the Nunchaku? Then we will train in actual combat as you suggested, Majima-san. Are you healthy and ready to fight? Yes. Uh. Yeah, I'm good. Then let us go outside. Nunchaku, eh? I take it I need not explain the Nunchaku to you? Of course not. And a soul alive who doesn't recognize those. Pretty easy to look like a badass swinging those around. Indeed. I am also a fan of the Nunchaku. I work on the crafting new variations every day. Pretty ballsy to try and improve the classics. I have been reading on a historical novel. And I'm attempting a, uh, to combine a weapon that appears in it with the nunchaku. Perhaps you have encountered, perhaps you will encounter it in due time. Ah, uh, come on. You gotta leave me hanging. Or I guess I could always beat the details out of you. I look forward to getting 
another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using our, our more powerful moves. Alright, here I come. What's with the funky music? Bam, 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 bam. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kick. Come on. Ooh, ooh! Nunchakus are fast as hell. Come on. Ow! Jesus! Come on. Oh my god! Come on. Good. <laughs> Take that. You have beaten me, Majima-san. Let us go back to the store. All right. Nanjaku got nothing on me. Well fought, Majima-san. I unleashed my full fury, but you still defeated me handily. Any parting advice for the Nanchaku master? If you did properly, the Nanchaku can slip past the enemy's defenses. The, uh, the trick is to hook it around them. It also enhances your fighting spirit as you rain down blows on your opponent and deliver powerful finishing moves. Uh. Sweet, got it. Thank you for visiting the Dragon and Tiger. You have completed the weapon training Nanchaku. Okay. Whatever. Later, losers. Alright. I might cut this episode short. Since it's kind of late at night. Oh, it's this guy. I want to update my moves before going there. Alright, let's go to Club Sunshine. And just open once. Have a training session with our new Platinum Girl. And then we'll leave it off there. Might as well. Oh my god. You annoying pricks. Come on. Come on. Get down, boy. Down. Nice. Okay. Now... Um... What's this? Hmm. Wait. What was that? Look. Mido Diner, eh? That that's a Club Jupiter area business. What? Really? I could have done this all along. Yeah, we've partnered up. We got more fans in this area now. Are you serious? This is bullshit. You're telling me I could have done this all along? This is some bullshit, man. I gotta say. Smart ball, eh? That's Club Jupiter area business. Whatever. 
Oh yeah, we partnered up. We got more fans in this area now. All right, whatever. Oh, hey, it's this guy. I have been waiting for you, Majima. The times have come for me to initiate you in the Komeki ways. Huh? I ain't looking to do anything of the sort, old man. What was that? Do I look like a guy with a bunch of time to kill? You can keep your initiation or whatever to yourself. I see. I came here to fight. If you can't keep it simple, forget it. Very well. Then I shall devote myself to distorting the former power level. My former power level. Yeah, that suits me way better. Let's do this. I shall begin then. These are the challenges you must pass. Komeki Warrior Arts, Komeki Wind Art, Mind Arts, Assassin Arts. Alright, let's try the first one. Huh. What are all these arts about? These are the secret arts used in my school of fighting. I intend to test your metal with each of them. Some pretty heavy sounding names there, but uh, whatever. Let's get this party started, yeah? You seem to be talking, taking this very lightly. Well, we will start with the Komeki Warrior Arts. Very well. It seems you fit to go up against me. Let us begin then. Time to unleash the Kameki Warrior Art. Hmm. Dude, I bet you're OP as hell. Hold on. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Ooh. That is... Some nice technique, Kameki. I must say. Ow. Nice. A new move occurred to you during your bout with Kameki. This precise strike will unleash after a quick step. Practice it with Kameki. New thug style move. Oh, press. Oh, hold on a second. Ooh. God damn. Bam, baby. Practice complete. Use your new move to defeat Kameki. God damn, Kameki. God damn, bro. You're tough as hell. Ah, a most satisfying bout, Majima. Oh ho ho ho! You're looking awfully jolly for a man who just lost a fight. Finally taking uh, one too many jolts to the head, old man? Don't be ridiculous. By going up against a powerful appointment like you, I seek to retain the instincts I had in my prime. Like I said, one punch too many. You really think you can uh, get your goo back at your age, bro? <clears throat> just so I have full control over my warrior arts once more, and I have you, Majima, to thank for that. Yeah? Well, good for you, man. Oh, don't act coy. I noticed a glint in your eye that could only mean you were expired by something. You were launching a quick attack after evading my strikes, were you not? You got some kind of fighter's clairvoyance? It just came to me while I was watching your move is all. Guess I call it evasion strike, maybe? Nice. Creative names are perhaps not your strongest suit. What? What's wrong with calling it what it is, bro? Well, the name is not as nearly as important as the move itself. I look forward to our next bout, Majima. Now get out of here and continue your training. Okay. 
I will see you later, Kameki. Heading down to Club Sunshine. Club Sunshine. Hmm. Out of my way. All right. Almost there. Hold on. How many CP points do I have? Six. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Nothing seems interesting for Majima in the way of CP right now. So... Come on, let's do what we said. Ah, still dancing. Chipper as always. Yes. Hmm. Prepare to join. Cast on duty. Next to Yuki-san, of course, we have I over here. And, of course, we also have... Akemi's not feeling so good, so let's go... Hiyoko. And then... Aranda over here. Hmm. And Namiko. Alright, cool. Special training? No training available now. Customer service one. Yay! Alright, you ready to do some conversational training? Yes? I'll give it everything I've got. Remember, you're gonna have to treat me like a regular customer here. Majima-san is a regular customer. Majima-san is a regular customer. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me something about yourself, Ai-chan. What you do on your days off? I, I guess that's not a, I guess that's not terrible. All right, sounds like a pretty normal girl stuff. Don't you hang out with friends at all, though? Mm, I guess it's not bad to be self-dependent. Nice. Sounds great. Kinda cuisine, don't overeat, wanna go together? Kinda cuisine. Huh. Should I ask her about the cuisine? What kind of cuisine? What kind of cuisine do you like? I like Turkish food. Of course. Now that ain't something you hear every day. You got a particular favorite? Kebab. Noise. Hmm? The hell's a kebab? Can't say I've had one, but uh, if you say they're good, I'd try it. Me? Huh. I'm working every day, so I don't really remember what it's like to have time off. I'm a boss. <laughs> you make a compliment sound very pretty sweet, Ai-chan. Yes, please. Take care of me, eh? Don't go giving me ideas. Jesus. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. And to the point, Aisan. Huh. If you were my gal, 
Let's see. What would I have you do for me? A massage, maybe? Just be by my side. Just be by my side. That's plenty good for me. Hmm. Mm. Well, I wouldn't want you to feel like you had to. Okay, so you're a pretty straightforward gal, eh? You want you're you're into the you're into the you're into the uh, risque, I guess. You really like going the extra mile, eh? I chum. <laughs> Wanna get to know you better, I chan. <laughs> that laugh. Hmm. You got anything you're good at, Ai chan? Work? You mean working at a cabaret club? Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> glad to have a girl like you on board. Damn it. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I forgot. Nice. Yeah, we'll do it together. Alright, let's change it up. You got any weaknesses? Hmm. You mean like uh, you don't deal well with drama? Damn. Yeah, feel you there. It's no fun with somebody else is the butt of a joke. Aww. I didn't realize a generally cheerful girl like you would even think about that stuff, Ai-chan. <laughs> Drama queens are trash. Just ignore them. Drama queens are trash. Yeah, I can't stand drama queen. <laughs> they should be rounded up and thrown in a dumpster with their own kind. <laughs> That's exactly why I did it. Oh man, you're right. Sorry if I brought you down like that. Good. That's a relief. Well, shit. That was horrible. All right, what'd you say we call it quits here? Majima-san, thank you for, your, for the lessons. Yeah, good job. So, let's see. What's a normal lesson? If you keep treating your customers just like that, I think you'll be fine. Okay, understood. Keep doing your best. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, God. All right. Makeover. Hmm. Um. I wanna be a girl. Jesus. We don't have much in the way of outfits, do we? God damn. Hmm. Eyeglasses.
Sure. Might as well. I'm not going for cute here because I know that uh, Yuki is already plenty good with cuteness. Is it worth it to, I don't know, put the cuteness all the way down though? What happens if I have this bracelet and then if I go up to watch okay all right whatever go home or go broke I guess so done with that makeup does this change anything no. Hmm. Whoa. Body con for disco queens. Hmm. The office woman. Holy crap, three of her stats would be maxed out. Jesus. Holy moly macaroni. I want, I almost want to. Okay, this is the first option if there's no other dresses like this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, no. So, if I go with this, one stat's gonna be decreased and the other one's gonna be increased. But, if I go with the shoulder pad suit, a trendy suit with shoulder pads for when you really mean business. Wish they had it in red. Oh, they do. I don't like red and green, bro. But red is... Red is ice color. You know what? Try it for now. Alright. Let's finish. Now, let's go open for business. Um, we can still do Club Mars, eh? What's, what would the purpose of that be? I guess if you don't want to proceed with the story and you just want to make money with your club, huh? Alright, whatever. Let's try it with that, because I don't want to proceed with anything for now. Welcome. I see the platinum hostesses are on the side, on the sides there. Yuki. Nas. Nice. 
しましたいいしまたお願いします Ladies class Ow Ow Cracked my arm こちらになりますタオ。Thank you. You know, she doesn't look half bad in that outfit, actually. Thank you. Ladies' glass. Refill ice. Here. What's up? Menu. Sunshine fever time. Yeah, everyone's in the fever time, baby. Gracious send off. Already at full bar, eh? Nice. Gracious send off, as always. Everyone over here about to get a gracious send off. Tao, do we get a special different cutscene for I? <clears throat> I don't think she's asked for help yet, though. Gracious send off. Refill ice. Towel.
Damn. Sorry, bro. What if? Okay. There you go. Menu. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet, guys. It's just very late at night. <clears throat> and my throat is killing me. <clears throat> Fever time, baby. Nice. Gracious send off. Nice. Swap ashtray. Gracious send off. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see how we did. Damn. Nice. Twenty two million yen. Hell yeah. We're C class now, baby. All right. <sighs> now that that's done, and now that we've got everything is settled down, um, especially with the side crap, next episode I'm probably gonna proceed with the story a bit. I still don't have the feature to change between the main characters, but I'm guessing we'll get that soon, seeing as how we got the whole investment, send money in between main characters recently from Mr. Moneybag, so... I'm hoping they're gonna let us switch characters soon Just so that we can focus on side shit for both of the characters and get more money for both of the characters And we don't have to wait for every three chapters to do so Anyways Thank you my disco pimps for watching this episode of Yakuza 0 And I'll see you all in the next one